In this video, we're going to provide a quick overview of the changes introduced with Amendment Number 3 of the 17th edition. We will, where appropriate, use some sections from another video, which provides a full introduction and overview of the regs. If you want a more detailed look at the regs, then that video is available on the Learning Lounge. The Third Amendment of BS 7671 was published in January 2015, coming into effect in June the same year. However, there is one section concerning consumer units which will come into force in January 2016. Let's first take a look at a tweak to the number system. When Amendment 1 was introduced in 2011, some regulation numbers were altered to have numbers in the hundreds inserted at the end. This was to highlight regulations that were specific to UK. So, for example, any regulation concerning ring final circuits, which are primarily used in the UK, would have a hundred at the end. So, for example, 433.1.103. When Amendment 2 was introduced in 2013, in certain sections of the regs, for example, Section 722, the 100 numbers were used to identify regulations harmonised to Europe, and 200 was used to indicate a UK-only requirement. With me so far? With Amendment 3, most of the earlier regulations using 100 to identify UK-only regs have been updated to 200 numbers. However, there are still a couple of instances, especially in Part 7, where you will encounter UK-only regulations using 100. Let's now look at a major change in Part 2 – definitions. 